going back to the well with a bet we cashed on yesterday. Also, is the third time going to be the charm for the Washington Nationals. Mark Zinno regales us with stories from Yankee Stadium. All that and more today on the Morning Wager. Mark, yesterday, everyone who listened knows, I gave out my half of the double play was the Red Sox. First five, lay in half a run. You have a similar thought. And by the way, the Red Sox took care of business against the Marlins. And you've got a similar thought for Wednesday's game. And I want to start off today's show by conveniently thanking you for not mentioning everything else that I said on the show yesterday. That went horribly wrong. So uh, we appreciate the ignorant, the ignoring of uh, things that didn't go well for one Mark Zeno. That said, um, I also went to the Yankee game last night. That also didn't go well. So there is that. But let's get started here with the Red Sox and the Boston, uh, the Miami Marlins, rather. Look, hey, guess what? Um, Trevor Rogers is on the mound. And last time we all checked Trevor Rogers, he stinks. Um, he, he has not been very good. However, it's been interesting because if you look at Trevor Rogers, he remember he was a straight fade for a solid two months. Um, going back to the beginning of the season, I think the team, the Marlins had lost his first, what is it, uh, eight starts. They had won a game, then they had lost the next five in a row. Well, well the Marlins have won back-to-back -back starts that Trevor Rogers has made. Now, Trevor Rogers hasn't gotten the win, but the team won back-to-back -back starts, including a road game in Philadelphia. So now feels like the perfect time to come back against Trevor Rogers here with the Boston Red Sox. Why? Because Boston, one, is one of the better scoring teams on the road, and two, they hit lefties very well on the road. This is a team that's like top 10 in batting average or top five in OPS and WRC plus since the month of June against lefties on the road. So I think the Red Sox here are a much better team. Clearly, we know that. We saw them take care of business, score early a bunch of runs last night as BP had forecasted for us, but I think they do it again here. So we're going to lay the half run here with the Red Sox in the first five to get to Trevor Rogers, get on the scoreboard early uh, at a very moderate price here. Um, you know, again, I would endorse even the money line at minus around 140. But you can also lay the half run here, depending on what your juice tolerance is. But I think both of these plays come in here. Put it this way. If Brian Bellow is that bad that the Marlins have a lead and the Red Sox haven't scored against Trevor Rogers, they're probably losing this game outright anyway. So both of them are a viable plays for me. All right. Smash that like button if you think the Red Sox can get it done in the first five for a second consecutive day. A team that is looking to get it done for the first time all season uh, against the New York Mets is the Washington Nationals, and they will be my half of the double play. I don't know if you've seen any of what's happened the last two days in the nation's capital, Mark, but it has been some of the most just stunning results. Two of the more, I don't know if fraudulent is a fair term, but I'm going to say it anyway, multi-run wins that you'll ever see what the Mets have done the last two days. Both Monday and Tuesday have seen the Mets fall down 2 nothing early rally to tie the game, send it in extras, and then they explode in the 10th inning. The Mets have scored 11 runs the last two days in the 10th inning. That is insane. The Mets, admittedly, they've had the Nats number now. 5-0 and head-to-head -head this year. These teams, when they met last month here in Washington, I talked about this a little bit earlier in the week on the program. You know, these teams were pretty much even in the standings. The Nats were actually a little bit ahead last month when they met. But they've been two ships passing in the night. The Mets have surpassed them in the standings. Nevertheless, you got Christian Scott being recalled for the minors to start for the Mets today. I, Mitchell Parker's a better pitcher for the Nationals. I don't see the Nats getting swept by the Mets again. I think today is the day that they get it done. They had two run leads on this team each of the last two days until things went horribly wrong late. Give me the Nats at the underdog price. We're firing on them again. I don't like Grimace. I don't like the Hamburglar. I don't like Ronald McDonald. Put them all in the bin. Natnals, Nationals, Natnals. Remember they had the they spelled their name wrong on the uh, on the shirt the one time. But we're going with the Washington Nationals as underdogs. My half of the double play to go along with Zinno's Red Sox first five bet. Yeah. Comment down below with your favorite bets. There is for nothing, there is in Major League better. Baseball. There is nothing better than a handicapper telling you that he is completely on tilt because this is an emotional play against a team that has pissed him off the last two nights. You know, you know what? I don't care what happens. I'm coming back for day three because I've had enough of this crap. There you go. I, That's don't, the way to I do. don't like the New York Mets right now. I'll be I, very honest. I didn't like the LA Angels a few days ago, and I got my revenge on them. Uh, what beat them you know up? Who I don't like? You know who I don't like? Me. 
I don't like me as a plate. I'm not <laughs> okay. happy with myself. I we love you. Uh, please smash that like button if you like Mark Zeno. He could be, you know comment with your favorite Mark Zeno story. Uh, he'll have a oh, story yeah, for the stadium coming up in just a bit. Uh, we're gonna get to our show best bet, but before we get to our show best bet, tomorrow is the Fourth of July, Mark, as you know, and we are running at Wager Talk a Fourth of July special. What a deal this is. Get on board for the next seven days with your favorite handicapper for just $49. That's 50% off the normal price, just $7 per day to get every winner from your favorite handicapper. And the great thing is you can get on board with Mark, you can get on board with me, both at that same price. So for the cost of one uh, seven-day all-access pass, you can get all of Mark and my plays for uh, seven days, same price, $49. For seven days from your favorite wage talk handicapper, no coupon code needed. Just head on over to the website right now to take advantage. I'll have two Major League Baseball plays for today. We're seeing it well. 21 and 10. All sports run, Mark. Last 13 days. And soccer, we did it again with the over in Austria and Turkey. 30 and 10 run on the pitch. Uh, no soccer today. I'm very sad about that, but I've already got a play up for Thursday. What do you have going before we get to the best bet? Well, we learned our lesson from yesterday. Remember yesterday, if you guys watched the show, I said, we'll have two plays up there. Maybe we'll get to a third. Shouldn't have got to the third. That was the one and two that we didn't need. So uh, we are going to stick with two plays today coming up on the site, wt.buzz slash MZ for you guys. And get that uh, get that July 4th deal. Uh, guys, seven days, 49 bucks. Awesome, awesome amount of value across the board. wt.buzz slash MZ. Uh, you were at Yankee Stadium last night and saw a rarity. A one-run win by the Cincinnati Reds. They don't win by one run very often. They usually lose by one run. They have a terrible record in one-run games. But uh, you took one in. The Reds upset the Yankees. Our show best bet is on this matchup. And you are willing to fade the Yankees starter in this one. Yeah. Um, so took the kids. Second time I've taken them to Yankee Stadium. We sat uh, on... The third base side, about halfway up between the foul pole and third base, because uh, the kids wanted to see Ellie De La Cruz. Because you know, oh by the way, watching that dude run the bases in like real time is pretty insane. Because he legged out a triple last night, which was awesome to watch. But anyway, then Ellie hits a bomb to make it five nothing, and my son literally turns to me and says, "Dad, we should probably just leave right now because we know they're going to lose anyway." Uh, which just means I've already raised him to be a true Yankee fan. There's no reason for us to stay here. It's five nothing. The Yankees did come back, <laughs> however. I'll share a quick little anecdote story because, uh, you know, this is one of the joys of sports betting now being legal is the guy sitting behind me. You know, if I'm a gregarious guy, so we're, I'm in the stands and I'm chatting it up with everybody and the guy's behind me. And I turned around. It was 5-1, and the Yankees had had runners on second and third. And I turned around to the guy behind me. I said, do me a favor. Check your phone. I said, the Yankees are probably still plus one and a half, right? He said, yeah. I said, are they minus money? He said, no, they're plus 114. I go, plus one and a half, probably not a bad bet, pal. And then uh, two innings later, when Aaron Judge hit the home run to make it 5-4, five, five, I looked back at him and said, plus one and a half, pal. There you go. So I, I want to bet for somebody else in the stand. So there is that. But let's look at the Yankees starters again tonight. Because uh, what we've learned is uh, Luis Heal uh, it was a fraud. Uh, he, can, he can get out really bad lineups, but guess what? He can't get out actually decent lineups. And the Reds are a decent lineup. Um, we know that they can hit. And Carlos Rodon has been – an absolute dumpster fire his last couple of starts. Um, and and the idea that uh, he is a guy who's on the rails right now, he's given up at least five earned runs in each of his last three starts, including seven against Atlanta and eight against Toronto. Uh, I know that his numbers have been better at home this year, slightly better at home. He is four and one in six starts uh, with a three eight six ERA, but this is just not a pitcher that I think is very good. And not a pitcher that I trust. And the Yankees are going to continue to be priced heavily as heavy favors in every single matchup that they're in. But the way I kind of look at this game is this. If Radon has his A-plus stuff, well, the Yankees aren't losing this game no matter what. And you can lay the one and a half with them because at some point in time over the course of nine innings, the Yankees are going to score four or five runs. But I don't think Radon is going to have his A-plus stuff here. So the Reds will be competitive in this one. Let's take him plus a half run in the first five. You kind of don't want the Yankees bullpen involved because they will keep the team in the game again. It was Heal who gave up all those runs uh, by the fifth inning. The Reds had scored all five runs. The Yankees almost not snuck their way back into it because their bullpen shut them down for the final four. So let's eliminate the Yankees bullpen from this thing. Fade Carlos Rodon. Take the Reds plus a half run at even money in the first five tonight. Yep. 
on board. Show best bet. Reds plus a half in the first five. Look, I always talk about the run differential column, Mark. Cincinnati might be five games under 500, but they have a plus 16 run differential. And I've talked about on the show before, they have a top 10 scoring differential on the road this year. I know there's one commenter who's going to make fun of me for being on board with the Reds again. That's okay. We love your comments. If you already haven't hit subscribe, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. It's the easiest way to make sure you don't miss any of the uh, exclusive sports betting content content we have here on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Mark and I do the morning wager every Monday through Friday, except tomorrow because it's the 4th of July, uh, and we're doling out the free MLB winners. And if you want more MLB talk, much to the chagrin of one Joe Ranieri, who is now somewhere weeping uh, when I announce this, you and I, Mark, will be on first pitch later today, so we get to talk every baseball game pretty much on the board. We field uh, all of your listener questions. That's a new start time. 11 a.m. Eastern, set your watches. Mark and I will be back. So uh, that does it for the show. I hope everyone has a happy and safe 4th of July. And until we talk to you again on Friday, let's catch some winners. (laughs) 